Now, without using distance formula, with the concept of the slope, also, you know, we can prove that uh, the given four points, like in this question, given four points are the vertices of a parallelogram. So, uh, to show the given four points, the vertices of a parallelogram, uh, what we have to do, uh, first we need to uh, make the rough figure, okay? So, let's try to make a rough figure. Let's say now this is point A, which is minus 2, minus 1, minus 2, minus 1. Let's say this is uh, point B, which is 4, comma 0, all right? And this is point C, which is 3, comma 3, all right? And this is point D, which is minus 3, comma, uh, comma 2, all right? Simple 2 it is. And now, if this uh, quadrilateral is a parallelogram, then this, uh, this this quadrilateral must satisfy that opposite sides should be parallel. If the opposite sides are parallel of this quadrilateral, then we can say that this is not a simple quadrilateral, this is a parallelogram. So to prove this parallelogram, first we need to prove that uh, this AB and CD are parallel, similarly AD and BC are parallel. This we can show parallel only when the uh, when the slope of this AB, I mean it's the angle made by AB and angle made by DC are same. If the angle made by DC and AB are same, it means the slope of AB, right, and the slope of CD will be parallel, uh, will be equal, then it will be parallel. And similarly, slope of AD and slope of BC, if we get equal, then we can say these are parallel, all right. Because the condition for parallelism was if the two lines are parallel, then their slope M1 equals to M2, their slopes would be equal to each other, all right. If this is like L1, and if this is L2, alright, and if it has slope M1, and if it is a slope M2, then both our lines are parallel if M1 is equal to M2. This was the condition of parallelism that we had learned. So, let's find out the slope of each and every, alright. So, slope of AB, let me say this is M1, alright. So, what is the slope of AB? Again, same difference of Y coordinate, Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. So you can imagine any one x2, x, x2, y1 and y2 uh, and x1, y1, alright. So it's 4 comma 0 and minus 2 minus 1. So y2 minus y1, alright. So 0 minus minus 1, uh, x2 minus x1, 4 minus, 4 minus minus 2. Mm, let me shift it a little. Uh, we are getting here now 1 over uh, 6, alright. And now similarly, let's find out another slope of slope of after AB let's find out slope of BC let me say this is M2 all right so again difference of Y coordinate over difference of X coordinate okay so here difference of Y coordinate 0 minus 3 all right 0 minus 3 difference of Y coordinate we write now difference of X coordinate 4 minus 3 4 minus 3 that's we're going to get minus 3 over 1 that's simply minus 3 now similarly let's write the uh, slope of this uh, this DC uh, DC line this is C all right slope of DC slope of DC let me suppose uh, this is M3 so difference of Y coordinate again 3 minus 2 3 minus 2 and difference of X coordinate that is 3 minus minus 3 so 3 minus minus 3 and now it is 1 over 6 and now finally let's find out the slope of this AD all right slope of AD let me say this is M4, all right? So again, difference of X coordinate, difference of Y coordinate, difference of X coordinate, two minus minus one, all right? Two minus minus one, and minus three minus minus two, all right? Minus three minus minus two. So two minus minus, it will be three, and it is minus three plus two. So we are going to get uh, three over minus one, and that's going to be minus 3. Hey, we got it, you know, we got it, you got it, we got it, we got it. What do we get? M1 and uh, M3 are equal and M2 and M4 are equal. So what we get? Uh, we get M1 is equal with, uh, M1 is equal with 1 by 6, 1 by 6, M3, all right, and M4, not writing M4, I'm writing first, M2 is equal with M4, that is minus 3 right m4 so from here what we get since m1 and m3 are equal you know 
uh, the slope of uh, line AB was M1 and this was M2, this was M3 and this was M4. So since M1 and M3 is equal, you know, since this and this both slope are equal, so what we can say this is parallel. This shows that AB is parallel to uh, DC and uh, M2 equals to M4. M2 equals to M4 shows that AD is parallel to BC. Hence, hence uh, quadrilateral ABCD is a parallelogram. As opposite sides are parallel, all right. Opposite sides are parallel because their slopes, the opposite sides slopes are equal, all right. Uh, because you know, uh, let me tell you one more time. If you don't uh, remembering, uh, like uh, a line I do have, all right. This is a line L, and if this has angle theta with respect to this positive x-axis, uh, like 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 30 degree, then tan 30 degree is called the slope of that line that is tan 30 degree is called the slope of the line it means that the, the angle uh, this line is making 30 degree all right and the tan of that angle is called slope so so this one is one line and one more line is there l2 suppose and l2 line is also making same angle let's say 30 degree so that time the slope will be again what tan 30 degree so now see here this this line l1 and this line l2 both are making 30 degree 30 degree so it means they are parallel lines if their slope uh, are equal so here is also slope we get tan 30 and here also we got a slope tan 30 that's why they are parallel 